basically today we're filming the McDonald's mukbang. So got a McDonald's happy meal. <laughs> I wasn't that hungry. <laughs> and since my diet is going out the window, I thought why not make it go out the window large? Make it ten times. We'll have like the whole shebang. So I just about to choose it. Do you have my curry dip? Yeah. So I've got loads of different questions. Oh my god, I never realised that. It's like a little lid. Yes. <laughs> Same with McFlurry. Why do I keep calling it McFlurry? It's a Happy Meal. And this bit off and it makes up a little lunchbox. That's so cool. That's why I get them, because I'm lazy. Oh my God, I've got nails. I can't fucking do this. Nails? They're fucking claws. So basically I asked for some questions and I got questions and topics that people want us to talk about, which we're gonna do today. Do you think it will work as a piercing? <laughs> I mean, that's one way to fuck up your nails. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Mm -mm -mm. We thought go big or go home, didn't we? Best way to do it. What toy you got? I don't know. I've never looked. I'm trying to sort out the pile of drinks I've got going on. And the right. chips I've spilt all over. Let me get the questions up. Oh, wow! What is it? It's like an old sort of like gaming toy. Orc! Oh my god! It's like the hoopy one. I don't know what you're meant to do with it. Are you meant to fill it up with water? Maybe. Are you ready for your first question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're meant to fill it up. I'm ready. <laughs> What's your favourite cocktail? Um. I can't remember what it's, oh, I remember what it's called. It's called Red Arrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they make them everywhere, but Straight and Arrow in Lincoln, um, they do one and it's, I can't remember what it is, but it's like two different colors. So it's like blue on the bottom and red on the top. Mm. Um, I can't remember what's in it, but it's the most beautiful thing I've ever had. We'll have to try that. I didn't want to be stereotypical. I don't even know if they do it anymore. Cause at the straight, they always change the menu. We'll have to go. Yeah. I didn't want to be stereotypical. Like, what would you sex on like, the beach? Like, star martini, sex on the beach, anything like that. Yeah, I think mine's got to be a mojito. I really like rum. Yeah. Or if it's not that, I quite like strawberry daiquiris. Oh, God, they're gorgeous. But you cannot beat a porn star martini. Mm. Is that vodka, porn stars? Mm -hmm. I quite like sex on the beach as well because it's really really fruity mm. your biggest fear a lot of fears but i don't know which one's like my biggest mm. man would have to be being by myself yeah it's not nice or dying i have a really big fear of i have death. a big fear of that but it's, it's it, it a lot of my biggest fears come from things that i can't control yeah like i like being in control of my own body or like situation yeah situations whether i'm in a vehicle or not like that's why i'm a bit scared of flying yeah or being on a boat because you can't just get like in a car or a train or you something. can get off yeah you can just you get off straight on the ground whereas if you're up in the air for several hours or on a boat you're in the middle of nowhere mm. so stuff like that really scares me i have like a major fear of hospitals mm. i don't know why i think it is like linked in with my fear of death yeah but i just feel like when you go to a hospital, something bad happens every time because like you're not there. You're just, not there for a good thing. Yeah. Like, well, apart from like someone giving birth. Maybe. Yeah. Something like that don't really bother me. But, but that's not even attached to the main hospital. No, I just don't like hospitals. No. Like, they really freak me out. I'll tell you what could be one. Not having kids. Mm. That does scare me. That's a major one. Like obviously, yeah. if you can't have kids, like there's nothing you can do about it. And there's yeah, there's other, other options. options. It's just like it's one of those that. Everybody dreams of it, don't they? Yeah. Every girl, like no girl, can say once in their life they, they never haven't thought, thought about it. it yeah, because I guarantee they have. What do you look for in a guy? <laughs> well, as you guys know, I'm I'm very loyal. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'd like a guy that's very loyal. Loyal, the way forward. Yes, this hoe is loyal. Be nice. Just be a nice guy. Like, I must admit, I think I am pretty shallow. Not in like a really horrible way. No. Like, um. Given my, given my dues, I have been like, 
have been out with people that I wouldn't say aren't the best looking. Mm -hmm. But to me, I thought they were all right, you know, we'll go with it. Um, but I feel like because I've been fucked about so much, I am very like, I, I like to look at someone who's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Like I, like, I like looking at someone, he's pretty, he's nice to look at. But then, at times out of 10, they are going to be a, a twag. I think you've got to be attracted to them as well, like that's a given like yeah. don't just go for someone because they're really really nice yeah. if there's no chemistry there then you exactly you've got to have an initial initial attraction yeah and i think that's why people think i'm a little bit shallow but if the initial attraction's not there then you're not necessarily going to want to prolong it like i get where people come from with the fact that like, they're like a slow grower and like things build up over time because that's yeah. definitely something like you're never gonna look at someone and think, wow, like you are everything. Pro or not. Things do change as you mm. get to know someone. Do you think you've got to have some chemistry? Mm. But then, at the same time, if you get on well with the person as a friend, then that's when you can see if things like, if things start to go somewhere else, like in a different direction. But at the minute, I look for nothing in boys because I can't stand them. No, thank you. For me, you've just gotta be nice. Like, just be a nice person, it's not difficult. You've gotta be easy to chat to. Really, out of the whole car park, why do you sit right next to us? Oh well. I do think you've got to like be quite outgoing for me. It's gotta be someone who works hard because I can't be with somebody who doesn't like work mm -hmm. or doesn't do anything for themselves. Like, I feel in that respect they've got to be quite independent. Yeah, but then also someone that wants to go out after like being at work and stuff, doesn't just sit at home and be like, oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Because that fucks me off. Definitely, like, you've got to want to do something with your exactly. life. Exactly. I mean. It'd be very boring otherwise. It would, like, and it's got to be someone who like like it doesn't have to be expensive but wants to like go do things like go out for the day mm. go to the zoo or something i mean i'm guaranteed i'd probably see all my exes there because they probably live there but but like at the end of the day like you've got to do something with them like not just sit in yeah. all the time somebody asked about like long distance relationships what's your opinion on them and stuff i've never been in one um my mum is so i can like imagine it's hard but like, I just don't know if I'd be able to do it. Like, give it like, yeah, if you found the right person, then maybe like, you never know till you try. But I just, I don't think I'd be able to deal with it. I like attention too much. I think for me, I've been in one twice. Mm. So I can like, I can handle it pretty well. Like, it don't really bother me. Yeah. But I think you've got to keep it like, fun. And I'm not saying like, send them a picture of like, you're naked or whatever, but like they've got to make the effort still you've got to leave something to look forward to yeah. like even if it's just planning a day out yeah like, planning the next time you see each other or surprising someone like just turning up out of the blue and going to do something like that would be like, so much nicer than planning it yeah. i think like, i don't class newark as a faraway place but i went out of someone from there once mm. and sometimes i'd just like just turn up out of the blue and just like not message them until i got there and they'd be like oh my god like that's so exciting like yeah just to keep it interesting and fun otherwise and I, I think that leads on to like any but like, if you're getting into a relationship with somebody that's like in the armed forces or something mm. like that like you've got to keep it give them something to look forward to yeah and it's like at the same time don't be too like clingy because like you've got to respect their space yeah like you both live totally different lives and it's never going to work if you're just sat in all the time whilst they're always out like mm. you've got to be quite similar in like what you want and stuff but i think that just comes with like getting to know someone that like you get to know what they're like and whether you suit of course it does yeah but i'd probably say that or keep it fun that's pretty much it it's the same with any any relationship what's the point if it's not fun like what's there to look forward to like you basically sometimes it feels like you've been married for years yeah like if don't get married exciting. off too early that's no. what i always say like, still remember your friends yeah like, make sure you spend time with your friends because like whatever like sex you are and with whoever like you can't just be about that one person because yeah. otherwise if like something was to happen then you was Who to break would you up go to? Yeah. you've got no one I think it's really important not to like lose your friends throughout the process mm. like i get it can be hard and like 
obviously your new relationship is really exciting and like it's fun it's new it's different but to keep it exciting you need some time apart yeah definitely and you need like you need your girlfriends don't you like you need the girls to talk to yeah and relate i to. feel like everyone has at least one relationship in their life where they sort of neglect their friends a bit yeah. like not necessarily neglecting but then no i've like, done it you like you just become a bit I did it, yeah person. Because I'd never had it before. No, I was just saying. And now when I look at it, I'm like, that's why we split up because we spent so long together. But then at the same healthy. time, if that person was the right person, they'd have like stuck by you through it anyway. Like they'd have, yeah. you'd have like just learned to spend more time apart and then plan more things together. So I'm not saying it was my fault the relationship ended, but half and half, shall we say? Yeah. I got asked, what's the best gossip story you know? No, I found this Looking one out. really hard when I looked at it because. I can't think of that on the spot and I don't really know any gossip, I'm quite boring. I know gossip, but not things that I'm willing to share. <laughs> and it's not about me either. No. Who really is? Like, I don't know about that no. one. But if I think of something, I'm going to leave it in the comments mm. or talk about it in a new, like in a vlog or something because I probably will think of something eventually like, oh, why didn't I think of this? Tips for good skin, not eating McDonald's. <laughs> Talk about some more YouTube channels and advice on how to keep going and keep trying. Um, I think you've just got to be doing it for the right reasons. Mm. Like, don't just do it because you think it's a way to get you famous or anything like that because... Get free stuff. Yeah, it won't get you there. Most people don't get there, <laughs> to be fair. People can see straight through it. Mm. Like, I know I can. If I watch somebody and I think, right, you're They're not They're acting in, like yeah, somebody you're else. Not or, in it. Yeah. Like, it's a lot harder these days for people to get famous from being on YouTube. Like, all the big YouTubers. They've had their time. Yeah. It's like, when they started, that was when before it was really popular. Whereas now, everyone's doing it because they want to be like them. And they want a job that's easy. Yeah. Not easy. Guaranteed. Like, There's a lot of shit that comes with a job like that. You're in the limelight all the time. Like, you can't do anything can't just go get a pint of milk no somebody will recognize you mm. you think about the worst in you because it is like it's a job where you've got to you've got to be able to keep up with hate like you've got to not let it get to you i couldn't live like that not that and it's like youtube's not going to be around forever no one day it'll fizzle out and then what do you have exactly so all these people that um have like youtube as their main job what are they going to do when all their like audience grows up and people stop being interested in them so much anymore because it is that like, people chop and change who they watch all the time like i know i do yeah oh the, the people i used to watch when i was like 14 15 i don't watch anymore no so like, i used to watch quite a lot of younger people mm. but now i steer towards more like uni students or like people that are a little bit older or yeah. closer in age to me yeah because i feel like i can relate to them and it's like would you say i'm pretty much how i am in person online yeah like every, i think everyone is different online as to what they are in person they i think i limit um, what i share yeah. a little bit more oh god well you have to don't you otherwise you, like you don't want everyone knowing your business like that's the same in real life anyway like mm. there's some people i wouldn't tell certain, things, certain to. things to because i don't want them knowing my business yeah um but no like definitely people are, are bound to be either reserved or a bit different online because like at the end of the day if that's what you're comfortable with doing online rather than being completely yourself then that's fair enough but i don't think there's anything fake about you but then there's a lot of people that you can just that just come across fake like you can, you can see tell yeah them. and i don't like that i just try and keep it real that i eat mcdonald's i get belly ache after and i shouldn't have eaten it but i still do <laughs> day in the life of tasha props gonna get the shit later <laughs> pretty much and then like another popular topic that people always ask me on my videos is like how to deal with like toxic friendships and like friends who don't have you back don't even get me started like, i thankfully i don't have any friends like that now no. at all i can safely say i love all my friends the very like small majority of friends i have because i'd rather have less than have a load of people that don't like each other i have like a small friendship yeah. group like you do i had a very toxic friendship from um like year one up till about year so 12 quite young there. yeah so about 12 years um oh that's good for me brain yeah same um and like it was one of those where it was like through school like yeah you're gonna meet new people and make new friends but you always but, stay quite yeah close. we should always stay quite quite close 
something but I felt very much on my part I would be the one that would make more effort with her when yeah, even when excited. I had other friends yeah but then if she had somebody else like another friend like she just wouldn't speak to me as much and she, they'd constantly leave me out of stuff and at school she would barely speak to me yeah apart from when that girl wasn't at school yes which bugged me because yeah I did have other people to talk to but she was meant to be like my best friend and she, like she just didn't know friend. like it's it's very much so like well if I were to do that like, you'd kick off yeah so in the end I just kind of like I drifted apart from them and I don't really speak to her anymore like we, we've spoken briefly just like checking up on each other but like for a friendship that was meant like that was like 12 years worth of a friendship I felt like most of the time it was very one-sided yeah um, and I just got to the point where I thought there's, there's no point like I'm not going to chase I, somebody why yeah. am I chasing somebody like it was getting towards the end of school and I thought like I just don't see this friendship being it going anywhere outside of school that's how I always try and think of it like yeah. if you if your friend is making you feel shit more than they're making you happy yeah then you need to look at it from an outsider's yeah point of view like my mum always told me like look at it from somebody else's view yeah this thing's about people and I noticed like body language is a huge thing for me yeah and just how a person acts like if they don't tell you anything if they leave you out if they try and like well, it's not include you but like they exclude, exclude you, you. Like if they try and do that to you then like why are you wasting your time exactly because Cause they're just making you look like an idiot for no reason and like a big thing for me is don't tell them everything you think because yeah. they will use it against you because that is just what someone oh, who talks that is, is what like. happens through all through school like yeah. if you say the one thing someone could use that against you for the whole like the whole time that they know you that's why and i'm quite like reserved yeah. i don't tell people yeah. things unless i can no, trust them because i'm very scared your friends can bring out the best and the worst in yeah. you but like i think mostly the best no. but like <laughs> they they can like on a night out with my friends things can get a bit naughty like never done anything illegal like i haven't but you do things illegal. just to like fit in don't you yeah or like just to try them yeah like, I've, I've never, like, abused anybody or, like, stolen things. Like, nothing like that, but it's just, like, you get a bit cheeky, have a laugh. Like, they definitely bring and out, a, like, a more fun side to you. I think it's things as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's quite frowned upon when yeah. you're younger, but, like, I feel like that's just part of growing up. Like, yeah. everybody smokes, everybody drinks alcohol. Like, yeah. It's just a part of growing up. People should just stop being so, like... I don't think they should change the age things, but people should just stop being so prude about it. Like, yeah, shit happens. Legally, you could smoke at 16. You just can't buy fags till you're 18. That's stupid. I feel like people break the rules because they want to break them. Where I feel like if the rules were a bit more relaxed, people wouldn't actually have the interest in it because it's not naughty. I know, like spirits and stuff, but I think spirits should be sold separately in shops behind the counter. But like a bottle of wine or something, like a... Um, a bit, bit of cider. Yeah, some cider, stuff like that. Yeah, fair enough. Lower the age to 17 so they can take it home with them. Whatever. Because then people are going to be less like, oh, I'm going to get a fake ID, I'm going to go out in town. Because they're able to just go and buy little things like that for like a house party. I feel like house parties aren't a big thing anymore, where no. I feel like they should be. The amount of people that I see out in town that I just know for a fact are like 16, 17, it actually makes me not want to go out because that's the one edge I have at, like to get away from young kids. Even when I just turned 18, I didn't feel like I was old enough to be going out. But I felt, well, I've waited my time. Why can't everybody else? Yeah, I feel like, especially for me, it bugs me. Because, like, if that was me, I would get IDs. Oh, God, yeah. Well, the thing is, they do. But they get away with it. Because most bouncers, I think, or personally feel, they don't actually look at the pictures properly. They just look at the age and go, yeah, that's fine. Mm. Which is actually really... They're not doing their job properly. But it's like, I think things should be how they are in, like, at European companies. Because companies <laughs> countries, countries because i feel like everything's more relaxed in a chilled environment and people yeah. aren't like getting drunk and they're not doing that but yeah because they can have that like i feel like people by the time they turn 18 are a lot more mature hello yeah that's the same guy <laughs> some mcfitty just drove past i mean i wouldn't shout if they part next to me come on in hon get in the video <laughs> hello but it's like i feel like things are more relaxed in those sort of countries because they are a younger limit when people like lose their virginity you're 
I think there's an age yeah. for a reason. Yeah, exactly. At 14, I just don't understand the excitement. Like, I do. I wasn't thinking about boys and things like that at 14. I was just like... I was thinking about Barbie dolls and... Well, maybe, maybe not Barbie dolls at 14. My civilian family <laughs> then. What, at 14? <laughs> Probably no, still I was, doing that. I was into boy bands, good music, sticking posters on the wall. Watching like, YouTube, like... Yeah, exactly. That sort of thing. Boys just didn't even cross my mind. Like, don't get me wrong, I... I get people getting a bit inquisitive and they get a bit like they want to They're know interested. about that stuff. But, but don't do it if, if you're not mature enough for it because most people aren't. Because it does come with a lot of like emotion like. And fucking be safe. It's like even now to this day like I'm, I'm pretty open like I don't really care about talking about it. But even now like to this day I still get quite emotional after and I don't feel like if you are like 14 you can mentally cope with that i don't yeah. think you're like quite there like it is a big thing like you've got to make sure it's with somebody that you care about they care about you yeah and that if and if the worst situation of having like getting pregnant was to happen you need someone that's gonna be, be yeah you? you need someone that's gonna be there for you are you ready for that because yeah. you have got to think of the worst because if that was to happen, if you know that one, your family are going to kick you out, two, the boy's going to bloody go off with the next girl. Was it all worth it? Was it really worth going through that pain? Because it is painful. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's like, for like movies. two minutes and half the time, no form of pleasure. <laughs> like, Pretty much. Like, I don't even remember my first time. Not in a bad way. Not like how it felt and stuff, but just because it was just, it was one of them, like, to me, it wasn't it didn't that special. Really mean yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it didn't mean anything, because like, at the end of the day, it happened for a it's reason. It's my first love. I'll say it like that because, do we ever know what love really means? No. We like, don't. I think in a way, like, I convinced myself that I did. I probably did because I was on and off with him for about that's three years. Nice. That's really annoying. <laughs> but then it's like. <coughs> I've been in a relationship now where they they always say your first one is where you think you think you love the person yeah. your second one's where you get hurt the most and then your third one is like where it's love. settled yeah like a proper love in films and stuff like they glamorize it they make it look like something special. it ain't sexy it I isn't tell me, like I tell you now it's not sexy <laughs> like is anything glamorous like it's not it hurts it's over really really quickly let's be honest no lads are really gonna well, take off sometimes now. that doesn't change um and <laughs> but i just feel like it is something like quite meaningful in a way like you're always going to remember who it was oh yeah who it was where it was and when it happened like yeah i don't think i was ready to deal with it and everything that comes with it like the worry like, i mean i took you with me to the uh, walking center didn't i we went to the walking centre because I had to convince myself that I was pregnant. Like, mm -hmm. we were the most safe we could have possibly been. I was on two forms of contraception and used But you never know, like... I was that paranoid that I was going to get pregnant, my mum was going to kick me out, all this stuff. Yeah. That if I'd just waited till I was that bit older, I wouldn't have worried so much. Yeah. Like, it's not the end it's of the world. It's a tough one. It's just, oh, I just wish I had waited longer. I really do. And I don't want young girls to think that they have to have sex to be popular and fit yeah. in. Never do anything or don't do anything because you're worried what other people will think. If you feel ready, then go for it. If you don't, you don't have to just to keep that person in your life. Like, they're, if they want to stay, they'll stay. If they don't, then they'll, they'll go. Like, exactly. no matter what you do, isn't going to change that. If you sleep with, it doesn't, it's like people that say, um, how long should you wait until you sleep with someone for? It's, it's different yeah if you if you, you stay meet. with them for six months and then slept with them they could still leave you tomorrow but like, it doesn't matter about the time lads yeah, work, sex ain't gonna keep no them. guys work very differently to girls um they'll leave when they're yeah. ready to and leave same, any, any girl could be the same if, if you if a guy kept you on your toes for months and then slept with you she could <laughs> she could then just up and leave whenever she felt like it like it doesn't doesn't matter how long you wait just no. until you feel like you want to to take that step with that person Definitely. i think that's everything that we've spoken about to be fair this mm. is probably going to be like 40 minutes long it's fine so right and we've got sunglasses on because we both got no makeup on and so this was the only way we was going to film it <laughs> yeah i literally got in the car and i was like oh we're still going to film later i've brought on my makeup and she's like oh that's what we're going to mcdonald's for <laughs> you want i hope that sums up everything that you wanted to know if there's anything else that you want to know and you want me to get the shits again by eating 
fast food for a video. Make them like know. rude and juicy. Yeah, we like, want not so really deep. juicy. I like juicy. Anything <laughs> juicy, like ask me. How would you want us to <laughs> talk about? Advice videos. I feel like we'd be like a good girl talk advice or mm. boy talk. Oh, I've been through enough, trust me. So, <laughs> any cheating questions? I'm also really good at dealing with advice oh, yeah. for that. Any uh, questions about boring boyfriends? Just, you know. Cheating you know. boyfriends. Cheaters. Sleeping with other girls. Yeah, anything boring. else, like, and I guarantee you're watching, so. <laughs> oh, she's going in deep. <laughs> yeah. Anything, we can, we can give advice. We've probably been through it ourselves, haven't we? Or, yep. Or know knows somebody. someone that has, knows the ins and outs of it. So I'm gonna, like all my social media are, are always in the description. I'm gonna and leave so ends. So you can message her on everything. You can stalk her Instagram. But yeah, anyway, give this video a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you are new because I post quite a bit at the minute. Trying to Very anyway. Active. Trying to. Trying is the big word there. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Just have this bit on at the end.